interesting game. Or explosion in the third period. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's the story. Yep. Um, yeah, that second period was ugly. We we were playing oh, exactly the game we did not want to play. Mm. Said we don't want to play that kind of game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if the refs helped us out, but um, certainly we were undisciplined and, and I think not playing to our strengths. Um, so we had some talking yeah. between the second and third period, and um, I think the boys responded. Um, and uh, and uh, our, our skill guys came to play. Mm -hmm. third. I mean, 46 seconds. And Connor, you know, I think you have to give Connor credit to oh, letting us hang in there in the first and second period. and. And uh, you know we, we had some shots that, that obviously found the net. That yeah, yeah. I had them at 23 saves through two. I mean, how, how big was that when they were pressing and they were playing like the desperate team they needed to, to play like, and he was there. Yeah, it's been that way all season. Mm -hmm. um, you know, really, um, he's he's a rock. He's uh, incredibly passionate about what he does. He takes takes the game very seriously. Prepares no, himself, um, and it shows up. Mm -hmm. You know, I think time and time again. Absolutely. Um, start to, I mean, you have those two power play goals in 25 seconds, that sets the tone pretty nicely. Well, boy, minutes. you know, that's, to me, shaping up to be one of the keys of our mm. postseason potential yeah. is, is that power play. I want to go back to the Marblehead game, Coach. Cause me they, too. They just beat the heck out of you guys <laughs> quickly for a minute and a half in each of the first two periods. But what three, did they teach three you Three times they beat the heck right. out of you Right. Well, they hit, it was just like lightning, and uh, you, you guys were just like, what, what, what just happened? But what did that teach uh, the kids? Perseverance, I hope. I mean, credit to Marblehead. They, they clearly were the class of the league, and they, they beat us three times. Um, I think Marblehead does it with, with grit and, and uh, net presence. You know, I think they hustle, and they, they win a lot of one-on-one -on -one battles. Um, I think you know, we do have young defensemen that, that at times have been overmatched, perhaps, in, in those Marblehead games. Um, I think if we had the power play working like we've had in the last couple of games in those Marblehead games, it might have been a different. Well, the grit and stuff you talked about, your kids showed that in the third tonight because as Nick was just saying, two okay, to one, and they and they were all over you guys in the second, but you came, you came storming out in the third. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, we we uh, I got into them a little bit in between the period. Not 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 <laughs> that that was it. Okay. But, but you know, sometimes people do respond when there's some screaming going on. What's left for you guys now? Linfield. Uh, Linfields will be very hungry because um, we, we beat them earlier in the year, a game that Connor just grand larceny. I mean, the, the puck was in our end the entire game. I think, I think they outshot us 45 to 14. So, uh, you know, that, that'll be a big, a big one. That's the type of team you want to play going into the tournament, right? Go tune up. Absolutely. And this is the type of team you want to play in the tournament. I mean, at this point, they're all tournament games. Yeah. Um, and that was win or go home for Beverly, so that was kind of a tournament yeah. atmosphere, you know. Um, and, and you know, we were lucky to re or we were good to respond in the third period as we did. Yeah, how big was that? Aided Donald's goal really, really kind of came out of nowhere. Out of yeah, sales. yeah, because they were still pressing a bit after the after EJ's goal, but yeah. then after that one, they, you kind of see the, the frustration set in a little bit with them. I agree with that. I think a lot of times in high school hockey, a three goal lead is kind of the Tipping point, yeah. you know, if two goal leads the most dangerous lead in hockey, right? We all know that cliche. But and these kids are real emotional. I mean, first goal is huge in high school mm -hmm. hockey. It's yeah. like waiting to, to get that lead, and then the kids are all excited, and you know, you got to bring them if they're if, if they're down, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, three goal lead is big. Let's mm -hmm. just put it that way. And I and I do think, uh, yeah, the goaltender would probably want that one back. But it was, it was almost like a no-look shot, so yeah. let's give him a little credit. It was kind of a change-up. <laughs> um, he wasn't expecting it, since yeah. that was his uh, mm -hmm. second goal of the last two years. What did it say about the team, too, I mean, to you know, come out in the third the way they did after, you know, the way Beverly played in the second? I think it's, I think it's very promising. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that there was a lot, a lot on the line there, mm -hmm. and um, I think we were, you know, playing a very poor um, game a very poor second period yeah. with a lot of bad habits and just getting out of our game so to respond is, is huge because mm -hmm. that's the response and the play that we need to to win tournament games it's all about 